Hello everybody. The activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland continues with another eruption being expected in late February or early March. The infrastructure that got damaged by the previous eruption on February 8th has been patched up and even the road that lava flowed over. You may be wondering how they managed to fix the road that fast with the lava still being so fresh. Well, all that's needed is a bunch of gravel which you dump over the lava field and pave a road. Those were news from the north side of Mount Thorbjörn. If you look south of the mountain, the news aren't as good. Grindavik's heating supply is crippled as its main hot water pipe, which is covered by lava from the January 14th eruption, is, as you would expect, leaking. That means the water pressure in the town isn't sufficient to support all the homes, so our construction workers are now focusing on fixing that. Other areas in Iceland are also making some noise. Eldey, which is a scenic island of the coast of Reykjanes, is within an area named after itself. This area was a site of a recent earthquake storm. Does this point towards action in the not so distant future? Well, let's check out the details. As this eruptive cycle we're now in on the Reykjanes Peninsula is so constant, there hasn't much changed since my last upload on Sunday. Uplift has remained pretty stable, and looks similar to what was seen between January 14th and February 8th, so we're still on track for an eruption early next month, likely between March 1st and 8th. Now, as I mentioned, there was an earthquake swarm in the vicinity of Elde, which is not much of a surprise, as earthquake swarms are really common there due to tectonic movements. There was still something interesting about this swarm, as it was pretty long and earthquakes got shallower over time. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of equipment there, so we can't see if there's uplift. The Alte area is really similar to the Reykjanes Peninsula, with the main difference being that it's under the ocean. It also seems to participate in the eruptive cycles on the peninsula, although it also erupts between them regularly, every 150 years or so. Eruptions there can get pretty large, like the one that formed the island of Elde, which caused a lot of asphalt in the southwestern part of Iceland. This asphalt was especially bad for one of Iceland's most famous writers, Snorri Sturluson, as all of his cows dropped dead. Today, that incident is looked at as a blessing, as Snorri now had a lot more cow skin to ride on, which resulted in a spike in production. Anyways, based on historical data, the Elde system could be about to wake up. This recent earthquake swarm, however, doesn't seem to be an indication that an eruption will occur in the upcoming months. When you look at the activity with an earthquake map, it becomes apparent that there is no real structure to the earthquakes that would indicate magmatic movements. That is all I have to say for this week. Not much, but that's just how geology works. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.